Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have this fun little experiment where I will gonna be testing a bunch of tiny little audio speakers, just like this one. I'm gonna try to see if I can capture the sound of them so that you can see, so you can hear the differences between them. So let's let's see how that goes. Okay, so the song that I'm gonna be playing is a snippet from my song from my album too, going crazy, and I'm gonna be recording everything with this Blue Yeti microphone. So, just sort of to demonstrate how it sounds, I'm gonna play it on my Peak Speak. And the volume is gonna be set to roughly one volt RMS AC, so just about roughly so let's see how that goes so this is how it sounds on on my speakers and we can now try and go and see how it sounds on the small speakers so this is pretty much the snippet i'm gonna be playing that's it let's start with the biggest speaker that i have and i actually have a part number for this one this is from multicomp and it is the an um, MC ABS 201 RC speaker. Let's see. Uh, it's an 8 ohm speaker. So let's see how this sounds. Okay, so there is basically no bass at all, but it is intelligible, let's say. Let's try the next one. The next one is this square looking SMD multicom speaker. It's also 8 ohm and the part number is ABS243RC. So let's see how this sounds. feels much quieter. Yeah, I think that's pretty bad, honestly. That doesn't sound any good. Okay, the next one, this little round speaker, considering how the other ones sounded, I'm not having a lot of hope that this will be any good. I don't have the part number for this one, I lost it some time ago, but it's, you know, it's like a generic <laughs> small speaker, so let's see what it does. Yeah, sort of as expected, it is even worse. No bass, no perceivable bass at least. Very, very poor sound. Yeah, that's about it. Next on this one, it is a 12 13 millimeter diameter speaker. It sli looks slightly differently than the previous one, doesn't even come with wires, so you have to solder your wires. Doesn't have a polarity mark, so it's you know one of those as cheap as you can possibly get. Uh, let's see how this sounds. It's the same thing. It just has this 
high frequency component to it basically a little bit of mid absolutely no bass whatsoever it's also having distortion as well is it coping is it trying to cope with so much power is this too much power for it that'd be interesting to know let's see the next one okay this is now getting super tiny as you might be able to tell um, <laughs> let's see what it does same but you know what, I was hoping there's going to be some difference between these speakers, but they all sound basically the same. Horrible as well. If anything, I think this might have a bit less distortion. I don't know <laughs> maybe a little bit better sound quality but it's still nothing nothing like uh, a proper tuned speaker and let's see the final one and this here is the smallest one I've got it measures only 10 millimeters in diameter it's the same company same manufacturer as this one we tested previously but it's just a smaller version of it it seems so let's see how does that sound then more of the same just this high frequency component and that's about it not good pretty much at all there's a lot of distortion as well So it can handle very little amounts of power, apparently, because this is already distorting it. There's just one, one volt that we're running with it. Now, what I wanted to really show is how to get some performance out of it. So everybody knows that the enclosure makes a lot of difference in speakers. So it's basically put it into a box. And one of the ways I can easily replicate it without going berserk is to put it like in my hand in a cavity. So let's see what difference does that make. You can just about make get some performance out of it. Obviously not a lot. So I wonder when they make like these iPhones the speakers that they put inside, how do they actually look? How does the cavity look? Because it's gonna be a tuned cavity speaker. I would love to see a comparison with that, but unfortunately I don't have any to test those. I have a fun idea as well. Let's try to see how much power does it take to blow one of these off. Now, what do we have here? Okay, let's increase the volume. 
Uf. Oh, this is pushing it. I can smell it now as well. Oh, has a bit of ah done. Done. What was it? About seven volts. RMS. Okay, fair enough. It did made some um, smoke. It released. It released the magic smoke. So, you know what? Let's try it with another one. It's not particularly warm. Let's go with the big one. Now we've heard this one. Let's hear now direct comparison with this big one. How is this one gonna sound directly after that one? So, what about this? Start from here. I mean, I'd say it. this one is clearly better. Ooh. Six volts RMS. Done. No, that's no done. Broken. This is gone. Close. So if you play it again, yeah, the signal is there. Nothing coming out. Eleven volts AC RMS. That's it. They don't take a lot to break down and they're definitely not powerful. So yeah, that's it. I mean, don't expect much from these little speakers. They are not good. They are weak, <laughs> not loud. They don't have any fidelity. I think they would be good for playing some simple tones, but not music. Audio is pretty much out of the question for them uh, some uh, use like some indicators or something like that just about but that's about it mm, you're not gonna get much more from them no matter what enclosure you put them in and they're definitely not loud so you I mean you can barely hear the small one granted it is super tiny but uh, you can't hear it really on any distance if there's any noise if if it's a quiet room like this one then you can just about hear it but that's about it <laughs> so you know what i would really like if you would be able to subscribe to my channel to help it grow i would like to hit a thousand subscribers so you can help me with that i would highly highly appreciate it and if you like this video please give me a like um, there might be some other things that you like on my channel as well so have a look at other videos that I do and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye